Why uh, cyber warfare became an attractive option for any government? Well, the answer is simple, because it is a effective and efficient way of uh, getting access to somebody's, I mean, opponent's resources by, first of all, trying to find out what they're doing, spying, then trying to disturb the communication system, saying that, in other words, the enemy cannot function in the normal way or physically damage their equipment. And the internet and all the tools which we are using on internet are great in accomplishing that sort of objectives in a really cheap way. Well, they are evolving in a number of directions. The first one is, of course, uh, improvement of tools which are used for penetrating the enemy's uh, systems. And uh, those tools are highly sophisticated and they are not popular. You can get can't get it on the internet, whether for free or for, uh, for money. Nevertheless, for instance, there is about 6,000 uh, programmers in, uh, employed by the Chinese uh, army, and they are trained in attacking the other side. So these are definitely a way of uh, improving the tools which are used for penetrating the other side. And the objective of the tool is to extract information, but in the same time being invisible. So the other side will not find out what's happening. But simultaneously, each of those countries are uh, developing something which may be called a software bomb. So if something goes wrong, we will explode the bomb, so in the other way we will crash the other system functioning. And you could imagine if somebody would be able to crash the communication system of any country's military network. The second part is developing a tool which would influence the proper functioning of devices which are connected to internet. And perhaps the most famous example of that, which happens in 2007, was the development of this virus called Stuxnet. This virus was developed by, let's say, Western countries, not known which country, to destroy functioning of the Iranian centrifuges. Centrifugas are devices which are used to produce enriched uranium, which then is used for an uh, atomic bomb. And uh, those, uh, uh, this uh, virus, Stuxnet virus, uh, was planted in, on a USB stick, which was handed to one Iranian scientist who visited one of the Western country. And uh, why on USB stick? Because this uh, electronic system which was controlling work of centrifugas was totally isolated from internet. But unfortunately, the scientists plug in the USB stick to the system and infected those uh, controllers uh, to simply blow up those centrifugas. So practically a virus resulted in destroying of a physical devices. Cyber warfare generally is associated with uh, military activities. Also, internet may be used as a tool for carrying, uh, as a medium of carrying tools for creating a social disturbance. And the, the, perhaps the best example of that was happening in 2008 when uh, uh, Estonian government decided to move a monument which was uh, erected in their capital to commemorate uh, uh, so Russian soldiers which were killed during the Second World War. They wanted to move this monument from the central place of the city to the not so exposed place. And uh, well, the point is that about one-fourth of the population of Estonia are Russians. And for obvious reasons, they were unhappy about the, that sort of a, a plans. 
and the, the, a massive dis distributed denial of service attack was launched uh, against the uh, government and industrial organization in Estonia. Practically for a number of days, number of ministries were uh, unable to work. The website of the parliament was blocked. The number of the bank site were also uh, suspended. Probability of uh, New Zealand being a target of a cyber uh, attack on a mass scale is rather remote. What is probable is the attack from some individuals which for some reasons has something against particular person, organization, or, or a group of people. But there is other chance, but there's other problem which is uh, quite, which exists even right now, and that is a problem of a collateral damage. damage. The point is that the, when there is a, a distributed denial of s attack planned, it requires participation of thousands of uh, different uh, parties. And uh, those parties may come from uh, different parts of the world. And it may come that for some reasons, somebody pick up some installation in New Zealand as a launching pad for attack against the other targets. And this is something which is real, which could happened. We are trusted and we are trusting. In other words, the security measures which we introduce into our systems are not very, very tight. And we may involuntarily participate in somebody else's attacks against the other targets. And this is something which requires us as a society, as an organization, as a government, to pay attention how we secure in a traditional information system way our installation. The best way to protect organization is first of all to motivate people because many specialists in security says that people are the weakest link in security chain. This means that we need to teach people what are the requirements to keep our system secure? Still, for instance, the question of bring of your own devices, how to protect them, how to protect the uh, installation if you plug your laptop. And these are those issues which are nothing unknown that simply has to be introduced to keep our system secure and not necessary against uh, cyber warriors in the terms that some uh, foreign country will try to invite our system, but simply against hackers. And this is what we need to do.